Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. So today I have for you an empties video. I have a whole thing of empties. I haven't done one of these in a really t long time and I couldn't close the drawer where I keep all of my empties. So I thought this is a good time to do it. So if you're interested in seeing what I've been using and if I would repurchase or not, then please keep on watching. All right, let's start off with vitamins. I have chewable vitamins by Nature Made. I have the Vi Energy B12, the D3, the Hair, Skin, and Nails, Vitamin C, oh, another Hair, Skin, and Nails, and the Calm Gummies. They're all gummies. Now, the reason why I take gummies is because when I take the pill for a multivitamin, it makes me so nauseous, which is weird because, well, it's not really weird. I get super nauseous when I'm pregnant. I threw up with all four pregnancies until the day I delivered. I mean, I became a champ at throwing up while I was driving. Disgusting, right? But at the same time, I'm a nurse, so I don't get grossed out by much, but my stomach isn't as strong as I'd like it to be. So I take these gummies and I've been really enjoying them and I have another set of all of these gummies that I am going through right now. So these are definitely a repurchase. Oh, and I forgot the multivitamin. I have that one as well. The rest I'm gonna go in no particular order because I'm just gonna dig through there. So I did go through the whole tub of the Biogeo Scalp Revival. This is one of my favorite scalp scrubs and it's charcoal it's got charcoal in it well you can't see it there I use the whole thing it's got char charcoal in there and then you take it and you scrub it into your scalp and it's got kind of a soothing feeling to it a cooling soothing sensation to it but it helps clean your scalp and I like to use this like once a week to get all the dry shampoo and gunk out of my hair so I already have one of these in my shower I also used up uh, the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind, Banana and Coconut Superfood Shampoo and Conditioner. I love the smell of this. Now I have another one, I have purchased this again, but I don't know if it's my favorite because sometimes my hair does feel dry after using this. So I do use this in conjunction with the conditioning mask and it works well, but this smells delicious. So I do have another one of these. Now L'Occitane has their, it's their cleansing and softening shower gel. I use this to shave and I really, really like this. Right now I'm trying one that's a little less expensive from Ulta, but I will repurchase this again because I noticed that um, shaving oil is not the same quality as this and I really miss having this. So I will repurchase this probably during the next Sephora sale, I'll be getting one of these. So this is gonna be a repurchase. I did go through a Batiste dry shampoo. Now, Batiste is not my favorite dry shampoo. My favorite dry shampoo is from IGK. Um, I think it's called First Class. Yeah, but during the pandemic, I bought a bunch of these on sale. I think it was buy one, get one 50% off, and these are already affordable. So I use this while I've been staying at home and, you know, doing this between hair washes. So I went through one of these. I did also go through a Szechuan dark dry powder shampoo. Now I purchased this because Michelle Wong raves about this. So I decided to try this and I do like it because it's dark so it doesn't leave that white cast on my head, but it didn't do a great job of absorbing the oil, but I do have two more of these. So I will continue to use them, but it's not my favorite. My favorite is still the IGK. Now I did go through one of these. This is the Claire's aftercare cleanser. So my daughter got her ears pierced and they give us one of these. And I got my ears, my second and my cartilage pierced as well. So I have several of these and I've been using this to clean my ears every night. And I'm so glad that they gave this to us as part of the deal. So I went through one of these, I have two more. So there's that, and it does take the gunk away. So like my cartilage, it took a long time to heal, so I did have to clean this for months. So I'm glad I have this, and I'm still using my second bottle now. I do have the Pharmacy Green Clean. This is my favorite cleansing balm, my favorite. I love this. I have one that's already half empty. I love this. This is my favorite, and I will, I already have one, and a backup, so love this. But I also tried the, Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. This is good too, and it's less expensive. Let's see, this is how many ounces? 2.5 ounces, and then the Green Clean by Pharmacy is 3.2 fluid ounces. So it price per ounce, 
um, it is cheaper with this. So I will probably buy this in the future from Ulta because Good Molecules is now available at Ulta after I finish all of my pharmacy ones because they both clean the same. But I do like the smell of this. So that's why this is my favorite. But I went through these. I did go through some cotton puffs and this is from Daiso. It's not my favorite. Shiseido is still my favorite cotton rounds, but I'm always trying different cottons to see which ones I like better. Then I have this. This is from Shea Moisture. It's the African Black Soap. I started using this to clean my brushes and it does just as good a job as the Beauty Blender Cleanser. I use the charcoal one that's like $45 for a circle like this big of a cleanser. And this is $5. So I will continue using this and save myself some money and use that on a luxury beauty product. So this was a huge win for me too. Okay, I have the Polish Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. Love this. I use this every morning and it has really helped with my texture. I don't have a lot of texture, but I do have some and it's really helped even out my skin. So I have one of these open and that I'm using right now. So repurchase that. I have the Timeless vitamin c oh something leaked out here i have vitamin c from timeless and i did repurchase this one so i'm using this and i use this every morning as my vitamin c serum i have this this is from my medical spa this was the retinol i was using it's it's retinol plus smoothing serum and i went through all of this and now i'm using curology which i've been happy with so went through that this is my favorite cleanser it's by youth to the people kale and green tea spinach now I did not repurchase this because I do have other cleansers that I got in some subscription boxes that I'm trying to use up but if I ever get to a point where I personally need to purchase cleanser I will purchase this again because I love this I've gone through several of these bottles so I will hold on to this bottle and just buy the refill for that so love that I did try the super youth to the people super superfood air whip moisture cream now this is a little i got this in a set and i did like this i didn't love it so i won't be repurchasing that but i went through one of those i did go through a curology i've got mine it's got four percent niacinamide 0.07 tretinoin and tran examic acid in five percent so i use this with the moisturizer that they gave so i went through one of these and i use this every night I did go through a Glossy Invisible Shield SPF. This is SPF 35. I do like this, especially during the summer because it's gel-like and it just goes right into the skin and you can't feel it. So I do love this, especially during the summer and I have another one open. So went through one of those. I did go through another Tatcha Water Cream and I have one that I'm using now. So I did repurchase this. This is the best cream for me, especially with my oily skin. This is moisturizing yet absorbs quickly and it doesn't produce more oils for me. So I love this. This is my favorite moisturizer. So I will be, rep I already repurchased it and I have, I'm using it now. I did try the pharmacy, what is this called? Daily Greens and Oil Free Gel Moisturizer. This is one of the little ones that came in a set. It was okay. I didn't love it. I don't even know if I liked it. It didn't feel right. It, the texture just did not work with me. So this was not, mm, no thank you. This was a no thank you for me. Okay, I have the Susan Kaufman Hy Hyaluron Serum Moisturizing Serum. Oh, this is beautiful. Now, I got this in my Beautylish Lucky Bag, and I think it's $160 or $180, and it's beautiful. But you know what? I stopped using it about a month ago, and I can't tell a difference in my skin. But I did like it, but I will not be repurchasing that. I have two packs of my cleansing wipes by Simple. I'm trying to go through all the cleansing wipes that I have in, in my backup drawer. And once I go through all of those, I will not be repurchasing these because I will be using the makeup erasers because those work great. But I had a bunch, so I'm just going through those. So there's that. I did go through a Sensodyne whitening, repair, and protect. I do have sensitive teeth, so I like to use Sensodyne as my toothbrush, so I go through these, and if I remember, I try to throw it in here, but I forget. Okay, I did try this skin lightener. It's from my medical spa that I go to, and it did not work for me, so I'm throwing it away, and plus I think it's expired now, so decided to throw this out. 
since it didn't work for my hyperpigmentation. This dark Ole Hendrickson, Ole Hendrickson Glow 2 OH Dark Spot Toner. I did repurchase this and I'm using it and I'm using it every night. And I think I see my hyperpigmentation breaking up a little bit. So I think it's working. So I bought another one. And I do like how it makes my, feel, my skin feel really clean because I use this every evening. So I do have another one of these. I did go through a lactic acid serum from The Ordinary. I have this in my shopping cart at Ulta, but I haven't checked out yet. But I will be repurchasing this and I use this every morning. So I do like that. I finished my Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. This is my fa favorite primer. It fills in my pores beautifully and I did have another one. So I did repurchase this and I'm using it now. Love this for filling in my pores because I have huge ass pores. I did finish a Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Purifying Cleanser. I did get this in a subscription box, so I did use it. It's okay, It's not, I, if I had to purchase it myself, I don't know if I would repurchase it, but I used it and it was fine. So there's that. I decided to purge this. This is the J1 Red Jelly Pack, it's a primer. And I remember when this was really huge on YouTube, it's a, primer and it really it's tacky so your foundation stays on really well but when I was going through my collection this was expired so getting rid of that I did go through a Laneige lip balm and this one is in pair and of course I have a bunch here in front of me that I I've got a bunch they're everywhere so I do have that and I do use this aquis is that how you say it the hair towels I just wanted to say that I'm using another one I have three in rotation so that I can go through them between washing my towels so love this especially for my long hair when i wash it and put it in that aquis is that how you say it turban my hair soaks up the water so it takes less time to dry and so then i use my dyson air wrap to dry my hair and it, i get it done in less than 10 minutes which is huge for me because my hair is long and it's thick so love that. I went through a Tula Probiotic Skin Care Purifying Face Cleanser. I got this in a subscription box as well. So I used this. It was fine, but I wouldn't repurchase it and spend my own money on it because I do prefer the Youth to the People Cleanser, this one. So won't repurchase that. I did finish a Farsali Liquid Powder and I'm sad that they're being phased out for now, but I have one in rotation now and one backup left, so love that. Now, I have these razors that I use, and I just put this in here to remind me. I get the subscription from Billy Razors, and these razors have like five blades on it, and it shaves my legs so close to the skin. It's amazing. So I love those razors, and I highly recommend them. They're better than the disposable ones, and you can tell in the shave. So have these. Oh, I went through another Emil Cordon. I had it in a little tub and I melted it and put it in this plastic tube, went through one of these. I did finish an Oma concealer. This one is in Honey Honey T1. Love this and I already repurchased this. I do use these little Korean razors to shave my face or especially around my eyebrows. I use the Derma, Derma Flash for my face, but I use these little tiny ones for my eyebrows. And I do have another one in rotation. And I don't always remember to put these in here, so I know I've gone through more than one of these. Then I have these Color Science Mineral Sunblock. Now, these are the powders that I carry in my purse and I reapply it. This is how I reapply my sunblock when I have makeup on. But I noticed that these were expired in 2020. So I'm just getting rid of these and I'm sad because I didn't even use them all up. So throwing that out. Now, I have this set of nail polish that I use for my dip nails and these were getting old. So I did repurchase a new set because I do my own manicures and pedicures. So I do use these for doing my own dip nails. So I did repurchase this and I'm throwing these out. I did go through a small super goop unseen sunscreen. I liked it. I don't know that I like the texture of this very much. I do like that it goes on. It's very silicone feeling, but I won't repurchase this. I think I got this as a, in a set of something. So went through one of those, but I will not repurchase that. Now I carry a pharmacy, so what I call it, and I usually have it in these little pill collectors and this one broke off. So I'm throwing this out and I got some more. They come in a set from Amazon 
And I do like it because I use my label maker and write down all the different pills that I have. Not just for me, but for my son who has allergies as well. So this broke, so I got another one and it's well worth my money. And I carry this around everywhere I go in my handbag. Then I went through two beauty blenders. A what, well, one beauty blender, like this has got holes through it. And then this is the one from Real Techniques and I use the hell out of this one. So I will repurchase these and I have a bunch of beauty blenders, but I just wanted to show you that I do go through these and I had to throw those away. Then the rest are mascaras. So I'm getting rid of this Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extension Mascara. This is, I've used this all up and I love this because it's a tubing mascara, but I like the Thrive Cosmetics one better, so I will not be repurchasing this and I'm trying not to purchase from Hourglass right now, so not repurchasing that. I have the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes by Charlotte Tilbury. Huge fail. This smudged all over I tried it like two or three times and every time I had raccoon eyes so this was a huge fail for me so not repurchasing that I did like the Pat McGrath dark star mascara now I could wear this I love the way it looks let's just get that out of the way it's beautiful it's volumizing it's lengthening it's beautiful but it does smear on me and it gets under my on the lower part of my eye and on top when my eye eyelashes touch my upper lid it does smear on that so I'm glad I just got a mini and tried it I do love the way it looks I wish it didn't smear if she got this in a waterproof or tubing formula it would be perfect for me then I also tried the Charlotte Tilbury full, full fat lashes this was all right it didn't work for me I didn't find it to be you know what I looked for so getting rid of that and there you have it those are my empties you obviously know which ones I would repurchase because I already have them back in my rotation. I hope this was helpful for you so you know what I like to use and what I would not repurchase. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video, and I'll see you next time.